everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. I don't even remember the last time I filmed a hair tutorial. I don't really do many of them. I don't really know why, but I probably should. <laughs> but the other week when I did my Instagram live, I had my hair in a really high, sleek, top knot bun. And so many of you are asking me how I do that. So I do this bun every day. Like I'm pretty much wearing this bun in almost every single one of my Instagram photos. So it's super easy, super, super easy. My hair is super thin and super fine. So if I can do it, you guys can do it. So I'm going to jump right into it and I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So the things you're gonna need for this video are some dry shampoo, a teasing brush, you can use either a tail comb or a proper teasing brush, a hairbrush, some hairspray, a hair tie, and some bobby pins. So I prefer to do this when my hair is pretty dirty. Um, I haven't washed my hair in maybe three days, so you can see over here I started to get a little bit oily, but that's okay because that's what we need. So the first step is I'm going to spray some dry shampoo into it. And one that I've been loving is the E Salon Without a Trace Dry Shampoo. This doesn't leave any white stuff in your hair and it doesn't smell bad either. It smells amazing. So that's why I like it. So I'm just going to go ahead and spray that in my roots and this will also give you a lot of volume. your hair. I love to brush my hair with a Denman brush or a paddle brush but I'm using the Denman brush today. And you always just want to start from the ends and work your way up. I really hate brushing my hair. My ends are really dry and really dead. So if you guys have any treatments or anything you would recommend for super dry hair, let me know. I know I need to cut it. I have been trimming it every few weeks, but um, I need something else as well. Next, what I like to do is I like to grab my hairspray and I like to spray it through the top of my hair just to get it in there. By the way, the hairspray I've been loving is the Moroccan Oil Luminous Hairspray. This stuff is life. I used to love the Alnet one, but after I used this, couldn't go back. But I'm taking the teasing brush and just brushing my hair back. I find that by doing this step, it helps a lot with my baby hairs and my little flyaways. And then you just want to put your hair up in a ponytail. My favorite way to do this is to tip my head down and grab all my hair and then tie it up right about here. And yeah, so I'm sort of going to do just tipping my hair down, grabbing my brush and brushing all of my hair down. I don't even know if you can see this, but I'm going to spray the back of my hair as well. Oops. I'm going to brush that up with the teasing brush. Grabbing all of that into a pony and I'm just grabbing my denim brush. bun to sit is completely up to you but I usually like my bun to sit right up here so I'm just gonna smooth out my hair One 
once that is smooth to your liking, you just want to grab your hair tie and then just tie your hair into a ponytail. So as you can see, I've got a lot of baby hairs. So I always just grab my hairspray again and spray around it and then grabbing my teasing brush and smoothing that all out. A lot of this is actually breakage as well from my extremely chemically damaged hair. And sometimes I just like to play with the top, I like a bit of volume at the front, so I'll just pull the hair up just a little bit, just like that. I'm pretty happy with that. But moving on to the actual bumper, I had to move my camera up a little bit just so you can see this part a bit better. But I am just going to take my hair. You can see I actually don't have much of it. My hair is super fine. So I'm going to split it in two sections. I'm going to take my teasing brush and then just lightly tease that from the bottom. You don't want to tease it too much because you don't want it to look like a bird's nest. Just enough to give your hair volume for you to wrap it around and give you that perfect little bun. So after I've done that, I'm not going to spray it. I'm just going to take that and twirl it around. And this for me is always hit or miss. Sometimes I get it perfect, sometimes it takes me a few tries to do that. But so I'm pretty happy with that. So then I'm just going to take some hair pins and just pin that in place. Yeah, I don't really like my bun to look too neat because I kind of love it to have a little bit more texture and to be just a little bit more messy, but I love for this part to be super sleek. So yeah, that is literally all there is to it. So that's literally all the steps it takes to create this beautiful top knot. It is the easiest hairstyle ever. It is what I go to daily because I, one, I really hate wearing my hair down. And two, I don't like to wash my hair too often because I kind of like my hair's natural oils to kind of get in and work its magic because it helps my hair grow a lot faster. So yeah, that is pretty much it. So if you guys have any questions, please leave... I don't know what is wrong with me these days. I cannot talk to save my life. But if you have any questions, leave them down below. And I have a question for you guys. If you have any product that you could recommend to slick down all these stubborn baby hairs, because that's something I struggle with all the time. Because I've just got so many of them. I've had quite a bit of hair loss and a lot of breakage, so I've got all these new hairs growing back. Um, but if you have anything you could recommend to slick them down and have them stay all day, I would really appreciate your recommendations. So yeah, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what else you would like to see on my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.